Leadership has its own story and so do you. Last week, I read a little bit from Dr. Seuss. This week, I'd love to share with you a book that came across my desk and gift giving at Christmas. Um, and it's called Big Panda and Tiny Dragon by James Norbury. Have you seen it or heard from it? It's a beautiful book and beautifully illustrated as well. But it's someone's, it's James's life story. And it talks about what he has discovered. And he's put this with his own drawings and his own sentiments. So buckle up because I'm going to read a little bit for you just to pique your interest. Leadership is unique. Each of us is a leader within our own rights. We are leading our own lives, let alone leading our teams or the people we work with in larger organisations. Our families, our friendship groups, our relationships are just as important. This story uses Panda and Dragon and they meet for the first time. They go through the spring, through spring, through seasons. And of course, when you open up the first page after spring, it talks about be brave. You never know what the first meeting might lead to. And for those of you who are in leadership, leadership positions, that's often the case with the people that you work with. The first meetings are really very important. So let's have a little dip into what they share, what they talk about and what the story is about. And we can relate it, I believe, to aspects of our own leadership story. And it will give you, I hope, food for thought if you want to go on a journey with your people around developing their leadership. The world needs this right now for a future that's yet uncertain and unknown but of which we can add and help create. So here we go. A new day and a new beginning, said Tiny Dragon. What shall we do with it? Hmm, which is more important, asked Big Panda. The journey or the destination? The company, said Tiny Dragon. Oh, well, I'm too busy to see the flowers right now, said Tiny Dragon. All the more reason to look at them, said Big Panda, and they may not be here tomorrow. What does your tomorrow bring for your people, the leadership of your teams, the leadership of yourself? Food for thought and a fabulous book to purchase. Pop it in your library.